Hi, this is Lexi Sandifer with Champion Chiropractic Center. I'm the nutritional therapist and today I'm going to teach you how to make a roast chicken. What I've done is had the chicken sit out for a half an hour in its package to bring it up to room temperature. I have washed it and patted it dry and now I'm going to take some regular butter and I'm going to smear the butter liberally all over the chicken so that it gets nice and golden brown in the oven. And our next thing is we're going to take some garlic powder and I'm very liberal with the garlic. If you don't like garlic, don't put it on. In our family, we like a good garlic robust flavor to our chicken on our chicken. And I'm going to use some mineralized salt. And again, I'm going to be pretty liberal with that as well. And some fresh ground pepper. all over it and then to top it a little bit of paprika and we take and put it in my roasting pan there are people who tie and truss their chickens I don't uh, that's your choice if you would like to uh, I'm a lazy cook I like to get things done and over with quickly the next thing we do I've had my oven preheating and it goes to 425 degrees it's almost up to temp and then it's going to go in the oven I'm going to put it in now in the oven and I'm going to set my timer set my timer for one hour and 15 minutes and start and in an hour and 15 minutes I'll pull it out and we will finish up the chicken from there Okay, so a side dish to the chicken that I like to do is roasted vegetables. Today I'm going to choose carrots. And I've already got them started, but I thought I'd show you how to do it. So, nice and sharp knife. Make sure when you have your chick uh, kitchen tools that they are good quality tools and that you take good care of them. You want really sharp knives. Dull knives are the knives that you get cut with. Sharp knives you don't get cut with. So I'm cutting my carrot just into quarters, nice and easy. No blood, sweat, and tears here. We don't need to make it hard. And then we're going to just take two tablespoons of melted coconut oil and pull that, pour that over the top. And I'm going to toss the carrots so that they're fully coated with the coconut oil. And then they're going to go onto my baking tray. And you want to spe spread them out so that they're not on top of each other. And clean off my hands so that I can get a hold of the spices. Back to my basic favorite spices that I use all the time, mineralized salt and that goes over the top and some fresh ground pepper and a little bit, little bit of paprika. All right. And that's going to go into a 425 degree oven. You can Okay, so the carrots are done, the chicken is done, and one of the big tools for kitchens are a thermometer that you want to have. We're going to stick it into our chicken. We want to see it read about 160. And there we go, 160 on the nose. So that's going to rest for just a bit, and like I said, I'm going to just pair this with a nice green salad and a very easy meal. If you want to cook two chickens at once instead of one and then you can have your chickens uh, meat, whatever's left over, you can use it for enchiladas, you can use it for soups and stews and for chilies as well and if you're making sandwiches or like that. So don't just cook one chicken, try cooking two. I hope you enjoy this super easy meal. Have a great day.